Hey guys, Hayden here. So, I'm here for another Smash Brothers DLC character-like discussion. If you guys didn't check out my uh, King K. Rule video that I posted the other day, definitely go check that out. It's a video on why he still has a chance to make it in Smash Brothers. And it's been getting popular, at least uh, in the scope of my channel, so go check it out if you haven't seen it already. Um, but this video is to talk about uh, popular requests for DLC characters in Smash Brothers that I don't think will make it in to this game but the next Smash Brothers game, so whenever that happens. And I know Sakurai has talked about, like, I swear this is my last Smash Brothers game, like, this one almost worked me to death, but let's be real, there's going to be more Smash Brothers games in the future down the line. Not for a while yet, mind you, five or six years probably from now, but um, there will definitely be another Smash Brothers game after this one. So here, I want to talk about characters that I think are more likely to make it into the next game rather than as DLC in this game. So, this is in no particular order. These are just characters. After I finished my King K. Roll video, I got thinking about other popular DLC characters. And I started thinking, like, I kind of want to talk about this on my channel. Talk to you guys. See what you guys have to think. So, the first one, the, uh, there's four characters that I have to talk about in this video. The first one is Bandana D. Now, from the Kirby series. Now, this is the smallest one, I think, out of the four. In the sense that, like, I think he's the least requested out of these four. But people still want him in, in Smash Brothers pretty badly. People want another Kirby rep, and I understand that the Kirby series is great. It's been doing really great lately with games like uh, Triple Deluxe, um, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Actually, Bandit played a huge role in that. So it's, it's understandable why people want another Kirby rep and why they want him. I mean, he's really the only other viable one that I can think of. But um, Sakurai loves his work. He loves the Kirby series. And the fact that Kid Icarus got three representatives as fighters in Smash 4, I, th I think it's time to expand the Kirby uh, series now in Smash Brothers. Well, I mean, okay, I, I guess it's not time yet. Like, I, I see why he could be in as DLC, but I think he still needs to become a bit more relevant before he can actually be a Smash Brothers character, because it takes a special character to be, uh, to be playable in Smash Brothers. And I don't think Bandanity is quite there yet, so I think I think we've got to wait a little longer for him. Um, now he is again he is the most realistic Kirby character, but I, I I just think he needs to become a little more relevant. But give him a game where he's got like I know Rainbow Curse he had a huge huge role. He was he was the Luigi to he he was what Luigi is to Mario, um, what he is to Kirby in. You know what I meant? That came out just like fucking diarrhea, but you know what I meant there. Um, so yeah, uh, Bandana D is the first one. The second one I'm talking about is Inkling. Now you might be thinking, Inkling? But that was on your top five DLC characters list. I, I know, I know, he was. Um, or he and she was. But um, I'm kind of thinking now that he's probably, the, or I keep saying he, the, I'm kind of thinking that the Inklings are more realistic for the next Smash Brothers game down the line. Because... Sakurai has said before that he wants to include as many franchises as he can in the Smash Brothers. That's why we got people like Little Mac in this game. We got Duck Hunt. Uh, we got like a bunch of new representatives of different series. We got Wii Fit Trainer, Villager. We got a bunch of new. We got a bunch of series represented in this Smash Brothers game. But I still think he wants to go further. And Splatoon has been a huge success for the Wii U, especially with that massive update they got. I think it was yesterday. Uh, maybe it was today. I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't own Splatoon. I want, I want, I want it. I really want to start playing it now that the game looks complete. It looks like an actual AAA title. That's a, that's a topic for a different video if I ever decide to do that. But uh, the Inklings, I think, would be a. Everyone can agree. I think that they'd be a perfect fit for Smash Brothers. Actually, I shouldn't say everyone because it's the fucking internet. But um, they'd be a really good fit for Smash Brothers. I think the majority of the people on the internet can agree with that. Smash Brothers fans, yeah. So again, he wants to put as many characters and many as many um franchises as representative fighters in Smash Brothers, and I think the Inklings would be a perfect fit. But Splatoon is kind of recent; like it just came out earlier this spring, or earlier in the spring. Um, and I think it needs some time. Like I, I understand that sometimes Smash Brothers is a good um marketing hub for other franchises. But I don't think Splatoon really needs that marketing. It's been a huge success, and I think adding them to the new Smash, adding them to the next Smash Brothers game would be a better idea. Like he still needs to have newcomers for the next Smash Brothers game. Like he's got to 
for lack of a better word, save some of these characters for the next game. And I think the Inkling is a good one. Like, that would be a huge addition to Smash Brothers, adding a new franchise and add that new franchise being Splatoon. So, DLC, it's not as big as of an addition as, say, a new a newcomer in a new Smash Brothers game. If you know what I'm talking about. I don't really know how to explain it further than that. But the Inklings is my second second character I wanted to talk about. I just think that they'd be, because it's such a big title, I think it should be reserved for complete representation in the new game rather than just DLC representation in this game. So the next one is Shovel Knight. Now, again, another character that was on my top five DLC requests. But it's obvious that Nintendo is a huge supporter of indie games. They, they love their indies, and they've been just pumping them out like crazy on their on uh, Wii U and 3DS lately. But this comes back to the whole Shovel Knight is a really recent title. And again, super, super good title, super great game. But he is very recent, and he is he's not a first-party game. He is an indie game. However, he did come out on Nintendo and PC first, which does help his chances, of course. But he is cross-platform now. He's on Xbox. He's on PlayStation. But I don't think that harms his chances too, too much. Because, again, he did come out on Nintendo first. And I think Nintendo did definitely push Shovel Knight farther than Microsoft and Sony did. So I, I think he has a good chance to make it into Smash Brothers eventually. I just think he needs to... I think this is just another character that needs to wait a bit to become more iconic. Because, like... He is iconic. Like he definitely has that iconic look to him. He looks like the the NES classic character that we never had. Like, it looks like he belongs in that era with Mario, Link, Samus, Mega Man. But he came out last year. But he does such a good job of encapsulating all those great NES games. He's got the map from Mario Three. He's got the um, the village style of Zelda Two. He's got level design like Mega Man. Um, just a lot of great, the DuckTales cane hopping, like a lot of great, um, classic Nintendo games that is, is what Shovel Knight pretty much is. It's just all those ideas put into one package, but it doesn't necessarily feel like it's ripping off. It feels like it's just like putting all those mechanics on steroids. And because he's so based off Nintendo history, I think that makes him a really good candidate for a Smash Brothers character. I just think he needs to grow a bit as a character. I think he needs to become more iconic because, again, he is, he's only like a year old, just over that. So that's why I think he's going to be more likely for the next game. Uh, I think, I just think that he needs to grow into a more iconic character. And I think just over time, that'll happen naturally. Now, the last character I wanted to talk about was the chorus man from Rhythm Heaven. Now, I know. I know what you guys are thinking, like, no, like, we want him now, like, he was planned to be in the game, like, kind of thing. But I don't think he's going to get in this game as DLC. And the reason is, is that he, I, it's that stupid fucking 3DS version that's holding him back. Like, he could totally, like, Sakurai even said, that he, he had the same, I think he had the same problem as the Ice Climbers, the Forest Men. Um, Sakurai didn't straight up say that he was trying to play in the Forest Men, at least I don't think he said it. But uh, he said with the Ice Climbers, they had them working perfectly fine on the Wii U version. But uh, the 3DS version, the programmers couldn't figure out how to get them to work because of the limited hardware of the 3DS. So they got cut completely, which just still angers me because I love the Ice Climbers. They're adorable. They were I played them a lot in Brawl. They were super fun to play as. But um, I think the Chorus Men had the same problem. And I think because of that reason alone, he's going to be... The Chorus Men are going to be... I think they're going to be top runners for the next Smash Brothers game. Sakurai just has to make it a console exclusive and not make it a handheld, or at least make sure that the handheld is strong enough. Because like the 3DS version held back the uh, the Wii U a lot, and that might actually be a video topic that uh, could be coming in the near future. So look out for that teaser there. But um, back to the chorus men, there was strong, strong evidence that they were that Sakurai tried to make them a playable character in the game. There was that Gamatsu leak that got, like, every character right. Ex well, except for Krom, but, I mean, that's understandable, because Krom was planned to be in the game in the very beginning. And uh, same with the Chorus Men. Like, it, like, going off that evidence, it's easy to see that the Chorus Men were planned for uh, Smash Wii U and Smash 3DS early on in development. 
And this is also supported by model remnants that were found in the game. And then I think there's an actual, I think there's an actual trophy of them in the game. So a bunch of evidence leading to the fact that like Sakurai wanted them in the game. Rhythm Heaven, it's not that big of a series over here in America and Canada, but um, it's huge in Japan apparently. So that's a big enough reason for him to be in the, uh, to be in Smash Brothers. And it's another series that would get into Smash Brothers. So. I, I think Sakurai really wanted him in, and I think the only reason that he didn't get, well, the only reason he really shouldn't have gotten in was the stupid 3DS version. But um, I think because of that, Sakurai's going to put all of his efforts to put him into the next game, because he knows, he's got to know that people really want him. He's still being voted for on the fighter ballot, as far as we know. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much what I have to say about uh, the Chorus Men. I would love to see them personally. I think that I think it's a really cool concept. I think having like moving more than one character around is a pretty cool concept. Although Rosaline is cheap as fuck. The, I, the, I like the ice climbers. I love the ice climbers. I think the chorus men would be a lot of fun to play as too. So that's what I have to say about those four characters. I again, no particular order on which one I think is more likely to get into the next game opposed to DLC. I just wanted to get my thoughts out here. So let me know what you guys think about these characters and other characters that you think will um get into the next Smash Brothers game opposed to DLC in this game. So let me know about that in the comments below. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more discussion videos such as this one, uh, gameplay, news updates, all that kind of good stuff related to Nintendo. All right, see you later, guys. Bye.